everyone welcome back to another venture bandit video all right this week we are at seneca lake it is the labor day weekend we are out doing what we do best shanti what you got to say for the people all right. cheers hey uh it's that type of weekend it's that cheers weekend all right Go get you some popcorn. All the fun you can have while we eat. And you're going to enjoy it through our eyes. About to see the world in action. What we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. Okay. Round yes, six. Cheers. 365. How many days? How many days are in the year? 365. I'm done living life with the lights. I'm done with my own doubts. Be free Being that we're back at Seneca, we could not start this weekend out without visiting our old friends. You're fixed. We're making a quick visit here. We got a couple people to visit now, but we don't know everybody here now. Everybody say hello. Hello. You actually get me on film this year. <laughs> hey, so if you have not watched our Seneca video, oh. check out the first one. You will see the same more. family here in the same I, setup. And him, yes, and him, especially him, <laughs> that made Tommy go to sleep early during the day. And he's trying to make me go to sleep now. <laughs> and, that, and, and that was Grubby. Grubby, gotta say hi. Right, Ruby. He's hey, in high. What's up? <laughs> Get up, Matt. Oh, Matt. Hey, they starting out. It's only 3 o'clock. It's 3 o'clock. They pouring and, and, shots. And no, that's a, mix, that's a mix. That's a mix. Ruby's flavor, and, and then you get my sorry. flavor. Pineapple <laughs> 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 They are dangerous. <laughs> Very dangerous. So. This is what camping is all about. Meet good people. Yeah. yeah. Go back to these campgrounds. A lot of them stay at these campgrounds where come back and visit. Yeah. And we're coming back to visit to say hi. And um, wow. We got greeted. We got greeted with shy. We're on the run. This is what we waited for. come up with a game plan yeah. we are here at Seneca Lake we uh, are here over the Labor Day weekend it's very crowded but ever since we got here on Friday um, yeah this is some water that I got on myself anyway ever since we got here on Friday we have been non-stop doing stuff we got to enjoy um, someone else's uh, seasonal campsite where they were doing Manhattan Fridays. Nick and Lori. Uh, oh, no, no. We no, was that over was somebody else's, yes. right? And then Saturday, there was a, another so, event that was going on. And Sunday, um, it was something else going on. And then today, Monday, we're about to go out on the boat. We're about to go hit the cove and have fun and meet up with some other great people. But we are actually hanging out with Nick and Lori Tarbach. And they are so kind so 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 hospitable so thank you nick and Lori. and guys i want to give a shout out to the people that's on pennsylvania avenue you come to seneca you got to go up to pennsylvania avenue and say thanks for showing the adventure band is a good time hey, she's hey, 
was bad. Bad on the outside of the pipe. Bad for swinger. And look, I'm trying to swing. Bad for swinger? She's a swinger. She's a swinger. She's a swinger. Check her pineapples out. Check out her pineapples. They are fun. And from what I hear, like some of them, they, they actually, they actually been at this campground for over what, 50, 60 years? They go that 35 far back. 35 to 40 years. Some of them say They're 50 called years. the originals. Yeah, they, yep. Some, <laughs> yeah, so, so I want to give a shout out to them. So what's your name? Oh, shit. No, don't do this. I want to see how you do on a pressure. Hey, hey, how you doing? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thanks for showing us a good time. Yes. And it has been fun. Yep. And every time we come, we're going to look forward to seeing you guys. Yes. So, welcome to Senecaville or Seneca Lake Campground. We are now headed to hang out with Nick and Lauren Tarbuck. They were the very nice seasonal couple who loaned out their villa when our RV got crushed by the tree. So, I'm going to roll a clip of them and their villa um that we stayed in we had the pleasure of staying in we are staying in this beautiful villa overlooking the water so guys but it's overlooking the water at seneca lake so mm. we are Senecaville city in ohio so guys i can tell you right now that i can get used to this Look at this. Look at this beautiful view. But look at this. This is a villa, a Salem Grand Villa. So you're probably wondering what is going on? What happened? Did the camper have an issue? Did another tree fall on it? Look, we were offered this beautiful stay at this family villa um, when our camper was destroyed. So. Thank you to the Tarbuck family for offering this stay to us. The good thing about it is they are seasonal campers. Do you know what a seasonal camper is? Do you know the benefits of a seasonal camper? The ins and out of a seasonal camper? So if you have any questions, guess what? They're gonna be answered in this video. You ready? Yep, let's go. So right now we are here with Lauren and Nick their beautiful villa right here. And as you can see, it's right there on the lake. They are what you consider full-time seasonal campers. So what does that mean? A seasonal camper means they do not have to take their beautiful villa anywhere. They park it, they set it here, they come in and they relax and chill for the entire weekend or however long they are staying here. So I wanna get their reasoning for going full-time seasonal and what all do they like about it oh. Go ahead. <laughs> well we definitely don't like setting up every weekend having some place where you can go just turn the key bring your groceries hang out for the weekend or a week or whatever is more of our style and we got a boat we like to do that but mainly it's the people we have friends have been camping here for 30 years they introduced us up here and we came one time and then that was it. We were boat shopping the next day. Bought a boat, bought a camper. You gotta do a lottery to get in. And we did that. And then you gotta do another lottery to change spots and we just got this spot last year. It all worked out. Yep. What do you like about it? It's easy. Yeah. And it's just here. You just show up. Yeah. So that's what we like about it. Yeah. Would you get you out of nature, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, 100%. It's still, it, it's technically, it's still camping, but it's. Yeah. And you got you make friendships that. Lasts for a lot, yeah, a that's lifetime. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. One hundred percent. Would you do anything different? Aside from me. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're happy. I mean, we couldn't have a better spot. I don't think I would pick a different camper. I love the windows, so that's perfect. Um, no, can't think of anything that would no. be different. I wish that our friends were just a hair closer. Okay. Because now we might have to buy a golf cart because it's a long So you don't walk. think you get a little peace? You 
get away from that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so just put that in, yeah. like, pencil that in. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Maybe there's something to that. So yeah. we so. got to hang out with their friends, and when I say they have amazing friends, they have wonderful friends. They treated us with so much uh, kindness, and we just thank them. They're known as the Pennsylvania Street, um, yeah. and they're just awesome people, and we also got to meet her neighbors right across the way as well. So this is Michael and Ashley. Ashley. They live right over there. And they are again enjoying their weekend here, this Labor Day weekend. And they are also seasonal campers. Why do you guys like being seasonal campers? It's a seven month vacation. Seven month vacation? Seven month vacation, yeah. It's easy? It's easy. You just show up and bring groceries and clothes. And beer. Lots of beer. There lots you go. Beer. Lots, lots of drink. Huh? Right. So as a seasonal camper, would you have it any other way or would you decide to tow? No, I think I'd stay seasonal camper. If I wanted to tow, I'd buy a second one. Yeah. Yeah. See? Absolutely. Yeah. So you oh, like no. the convenience of it? It's more convenient for them because they can come without me and don't have to set everything up. So just show up and unlock it, turn the water on. There you go. And how long have you been a seasonal camper? Five years. Five years. Five years. You like it? Love it. It's the kids' favorite place to be. Perfect. See? So guys, if you don't have a tow vehicle, you don't need a tow vehicle. You can always rent a lot, right? That's right. Yeah, they'll so, deliver it. So they're delivered? They're delivered. Really? They got well, we had our salon. Nick's was delivered and yeah, set we up. Had our really? Mm -hmm. That's me. So you can just go get R V and get it delivered. Just buy your site, get it delivered. You can be living like this. I'm not gonna say like this, but, <laughs> <laughs> but you can be like you can enjoy the outside. So you gonna let go of the string at point? After, yeah. After. After. Yeah. And then this is called what again? Surfing. Surfing. Yep. And this is the hardest part Wake. of getting in. Really? Okay. Wake surfing. Yep. Wake surfing. There's a lot of room back here. Wow. <laughs> is that water cold? <laughs> it ain't really cold. <laughs> <laughs> They are actually boaters. They got their own boaters code. It's called, what, what's this code called? You got a name for this code? It's just called the cove. It's just called the cove? Yeah. Oh, it gotta be a special name with this code. Oh, <laughs> the cool people code. <laughs> this is cool people code over here. You see how all the boats? I wanna bring my pontoon over here one day. 
Look at this. This is how they do it out here. Tell them this is how y'all do it. This is how we do it. Every weekend. Every weekend. That's living, y'all. That's what you call living. Look at those cool people over there on that. On the green. Um, what you call it? Lily pad. That's the lily pad over there. Look. I know this stuff because I got a boat myself. See, they even, they even got kids. Look at the little kids that paddle some boats. Just chilling. What do you think about this, Shanti? It's nice. Very it's nice. comfortable. Very relaxing. I love it. This is definitely camping and boating at the same time. Yep. So, guys, if you can't get a camper, get a boat. Or get both. Or just get a get, get a get a kayak. Yeah. <laughs> get a kayak. Yeah, get a kayak. Get a kayak. Get a kayak. Get a camper. Get a kayak. 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 Welcome to the cove, you guys. This is the cove right here. This is part of camp. So you can stand up. Look at okay. the kids. If, if Luke can do it, you can do it. But the water's cold. Look at Luke. Okay. I'm gonna have to get her. Hey, put her, give her a life vest. And like, put, put something on her arms. She got the little blow up things going. Yeah. Little blow up things going on her arms. She, she need those too. Are you for real? And you need something around your ankles. <laughs> Look, yeah, get it. <laughs> give her that. Yes. You are something else. Are you gonna really wear that? No. As you are. Go ahead. So guys, what a way to end a Labor Day weekend. You see how they do it? And then you're boating. And believe it or not, every one of them stay in RV. A seasonal camper. Mason. What's up, you two? He's the only guy that I know that can ride and smoke a cigar at the same time. Drink and smoke a cigar. <laughs> That's a cool bike. Can't be scared in life. <laughs> Can't be scared. That's the Mason bike right here. He just left it laying. <laughs> yeah, it's a 21 speed. I, I know a lot of people uh, can appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't you, remember you remember him. Dusty Mason? Remember from last I night? do. I do remember you? him. I told you I'd come see you. Yeah, I remember him. I wasn't lying. That's the cigar smell. Go with my cigar. Hand me my cigar. Right What's the name of that cigar you smoking? Oh, this is a uh, from Meros. I gotta smoke my cigar with here. His cigar smells so good. I don't know good. what that one is. Cohiba. Yeah. Uh, Cohiba. Cohiba Red Dot? Yep. Oh, yeah, see, I. I picked it out. My for cigars. Him. You know? <laughs> That's a real good cigar. See? Yep. You bring the lighter? No. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, so, oh, there good. You go. Dusty Mason came prepared. <laughs> Dusty Mason came prepared. Dusty Mason don't screw around. <laughs> so, tell us about your entire. <sighs> well, <laughs> these are some Justins from the old uh, tractor supply. And then you take your old work jeans and mm -hmm. you just create something beautiful. <laughs> just got to make them look nice. <laughs> All right. Let things breathe a little. You look like you can line dance. You camping? Nope. I don't even like country music. You don't like country music? No, Brothers Osborne. That'd be the only, uh, be the only country music group I like. <laughs> they're, my, they're my style. Saw them actually on Thursday night. Nautical Pavilion. <laughs> Thank you, Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty Mason, y'all. <laughs> Dusty Mason. Hey, if you ain't watching the Adventure Bandits on YouTube and you're a camper, you got some problems. Start following these people. They know what they're talking about. Good people. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
backwards? Backwards. Pull it backwards towards you. Yeah. Like a motorcycle. You'll get it. It's like riding a bike. Uh oh. There you go. Best at it. <laughs> <laughs> when I was going around my first turn, I was like, whoa, whoa. Tonight, so just sit with me, talking to the night into the morning, building cat mystery. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me. Trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. So what do you think about being a seasonal camper? Is this something you can do? Oh, MG, yes. 